This is Isaiah chapter 44, verse 21. Remember these things, Jacob, for you, Yasharal, are my servant. I have made you. You are my servant, Yasharal. I will not forget you. I have swept away your offenses like a cloud. You see that? Like a cloud. His mercies, his compassion will always be upon his peoples. Okay? You have to remember, we may have been scattered into many nations. We may have been scattered to every part of this earth, but we are not forgotten. And this is why this is happening. Because Yahweh's mercies and compassion doesn't fail. I have swept away your offenses like a cloud, your sins like the morning mist. Return to me, for I have redeemed you. Not Jesus Christ. That's Azazel. Yahweh is redeeming his people now in these times and in these days. Why? Because he's revealing these things. That's why you are being redeemed. You are being free from the lives of your oppressors. Do you see why all this has to be revealed to you freely? Okay? Because you have to make the choice for yourself in these times and in these days. You have to understand freely. You must choose freely as it was given to you. Isaiah 44 verse 23 Sing for joy, you heavens, for Yahweh has done this. Shout out loud, you earth beneath. Burst into songs, you mountains, you forests, and all you trees. For why? For Yahweh has redeemed Jacob. He reveals his glory in where? In Yasharel. See that? Remember how the Most High's glory was going to be in the temple? Because you have to remember these things. Again, I told you the Most High left you close. He left you pieces so that you may put together because he knew that the enemy was going to try his lot. The enemy was going to try to shoot his shot. Okay, so this is why this is being revealed to you now so that you may understand that the Most High is a victorious and righteous God and he does not lie to you. He gave you the truth from the beginning. The things and the ones that have lied to you are these fallen entities. And humans who go hand in hand and connect themselves with these fallen entities to know and acquire such technology, such wisdom and knowledge that they have acquired. See that? But in these times and in these days, the heavens will be rolled up like a scroll, like it says. The stars, they will fall like withered leaves from the fig tree. That's what's going to happen in these times and in these days. You see that? Because Yahweh is revealing his glory. Yahweh is redeeming his people. This is why Yahweh says, you're a redeemer who formed you in the womb. See that? Just the way the Most High formed me in my mother's womb. He formed you as well. And this is why you are born into this, knowing what you know now, because you were destined, you were elected to receive this knowledge, just as the wicked were chosen to understand what they know because they choose to understand it because they love it so since you love this truth that has come forth this is why Yahweh is revealing himself his glory unto you for I am Yahweh the maker of all things who stretches out the heavens who spreads out the earth by myself who foils the signs of false prophets and makes fools of diviners, who overthrows the learning of the wise and turns it into nonsense. You see that? We have shown you these things through the spirit of Yahweh, through many videos. This is what has been done through the spirit of the Most High. This is what will continue to be done through the spirit of the Most High. We will expose these demons 
This is why many people are exposing them already. You see that? So it's not about me. It's about what Yahweh has created. What Yahweh has done. You see that? That's the beauty of it. What Yahweh does. Yahweh carries out the words of his servant and fulfills the predictions, the prophecies of his messengers. See that? Who says of Yahweh it will be inhabited of the towns of Yahweh that they shall be rebuilt. Why? Because right now the Most High Yahweh says that you have as much gods as you have towns. So right now they have to be demolished. See that? They have to be broken and made into limestones. And then your towns shall be rebuilt. And of their ruins, I will restore them. What you're talking about? David's fallen shelter, right? This is why Yahweh says, you are too small to be of the tribe of Yahweh, though. But still in all, out of you will come one who will be ruler over Yasharel. And so, these are the times that the Most High Yahweh's words are coming to pass. The times in which a nation of people from all over the world, from different countries and languages, or gathered together in righteousness and in truth and in the name of Yahweh to honor the living God the one true Savior of all mankind the Redeemer the one who is capable the one who says to the watery deep be dry and I will dry up your streams is it not true as we are doing to the streams of Azazel the waters that spew forth from the serpent. We are telling it to be dry. And I will dry up your streams. You see that? We will break Leviathan in half. Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. As I looked, thrones were set in place. See that? Thrones were set in place. And the Ancient of Days took his seat. His clothing was as white as snow, and the hair of his head was like wool. His throne was flaming with fire, and its wheels were all ablaze. This is whom people called Michael. See that? Get his name right. It is the spirit of Yahweh. Okay? This is who you refer to as the image of the Most High. The Ancient of Days. So he took his seat. You see that? Thrones were set in place. This is the reason why a river of fire was flowing, coming out from before him. Thousands upon thousands attended him. Ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The court was seated and the books were open. Then I continued to watch because of the boastful words the horn was speaking. Remember that horn we talked about? Who is the horn? The little horn, Azazel, remember? Then I continued to watch because of the boastful words the horn was speaking. I kept looking until what? Until the beast was slain and its body destroyed and thrown into what? The blazing fire. Isn't that the same thing that it says about Azazel, right? So you see why I have been trying to tell you that I'm not lying to you. I have only been trying to help you out to understand these words through the spirit of Yahweh. The little horn has been destroyed. You see that? Don't forget it. June 7th. R.I.P. Azazel. Every day since, I've been smoking Azazel packs. See that? So the beast was slain, and his body destroyed and thrown into the blazing fire. This is also the reason why, in Daniel chapter 12, verse 1, it says, at that time, Michael, the great prince who protects your people, will arise. There will be a time of distress, such as has not happened from the beginning of nations until then. But at that time, your people, everyone whose name is found written in the book, will be delivered. So when it says that the great prince who protects our people will arise, that means that people are going to stop worshiping angels, right? Remember Daniel's the seventh chapter, the four beasts? The hex that Azazel put upon these beasts, that's the mark of the beast, right? So that has been removed. The earth will be healing. 
This is why in the book of Enoch, chapter 10, Yahweh gives commands to Michael to let the plant of righteousness appear, that it may prove a blessing on the earth. You see that? That's why it says, but at that time, your people, everyone whose name is found written in the book, will be delivered. So we have nothing to worry about when disaster comes and when they are telling you, oh my God, it's looking like apocalypse outside. Oh my God, what's going on with the sun? Is it wildfires? Oh my God. They're lying to you. When they're telling you about UFOs landing in people's backyards, they just want you to get comfortable with this alien agenda that they have been trying to spring on you for years. They have just been waiting for the perfect time. And since all these things are playing out in the spiritual realm, they are clueless. They don't know what's going on because science can explain it. And since science can explain the spiritual things, well, they label it as wildfires. They create the wildfires because they see the change in the sun. So they want to give you the smoking mirrors. You see that? Their lies spread like wildfires. So that's why all of this is being revealed. Okay? The next verse. Multitudes who sleep in the dust of the earth will awake. The dust of the earth is confusion. That's Azazel, the gliding serpent, biting you. Making your mind see strange things. You believing the lies that come out of the serpent's mouth. That's you living in the dust. So multitudes in these times and in these days, right? They don't have to be so clever in reading the word of God. Or as knowledgeable as me or you are. Who may read and understand the word of the Most High Yahweh. They don't have to be like us. They don't have to always be reading and, and, and trying to break their head. No. But there are going to be others who are going to have their own unique spirit in which they're going to share and expose certain things. And they're going to have the understanding to know. To know what are these things. You see that? The Most High Yahweh has elected us with this knowledge to understand these things and so that we may share it however we share it. Whether we share it with fellow YouTubers, relatives, and friends. They may be able to make videos giving people their insights. You see that? It's going to happen regardless. So it's not about millions of people watching my videos and understanding this. A few that understand it, that's fine. And guess what? This is going to spread like wildfire. How about that? You see that? Because this is what Yahweh says. Let's go ahead and show you that. Those who are wise will shine like what? Like the brightness of the heavens. And those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. You see why the elect one and the elect ones who cleave upon the name of Yahweh, they will all be blessed like the stars forever and ever. So all these things are happening. This is why Psalms 75 verse 4 says, To the arrogant I say boast no more. You see that? And to the deep be dry. And to the wicked do not lift up your horns. Do not cast your spells anymore for they will be broken. They have been exposed. You have been found to be liars. You see that? Do not lift up your horns anymore. Do not lift up your horns against heaven, as we already spoke about. Do not speak so defiantly, which they have done. They casted spells. They spoke harshly against the word of the Most High. Have they not? Oh, you hard-hearted, you shall find no peace. Remember that? This is from the book of Enoch. Chapter 50, verse 1. And in those days a change, see that? A change shall take place for the holy and elect. And the light of days, even who they call Raphael, the spirit of healing and compassion, gets a promotion. And the light of days shall abide upon them. Do you see why the sun will be seven times brighter? Let's go ahead and show you this here. 
this is why it says in Psalms 75 verse 6 no one from the east or the west or from the desert can exalt themselves only the Most High promotes <laughs>